Uh, hello everyone, I'm here with another LEGO Star Wars The Last Jedi 2018 review, and this one is on the defense of Crate. So on the front of the box, you see LEGO LEGO, Star Wars LEGO, the Disney LEGO in that corner, all the minifigures included, picture of the set in action, and recommended ages 9 to 14, set number 75202. Has 746 pieces. And of course, on one side it is continuing that really cool uh, graphic picture on the sides. And here's the back of the box. You can see all the features and everything. And now to the booklet. See, same pictures on the front and everything. Same style as the uh, ideas line. And then on the back, when on the online survey, all the pieces included, which actually goes up to like three pages, kind of interesting. And then after Lego Life, and after some of the other 20, winter 2018 sets, and then all the minifigures of the lines, and add for some of the last Jedi sets, and yeah. And now on to the main figures. We get two of the first order snowtroopers. Which who are just about the same as in a few other couple other Force Awakens sets like the Snow Speeder and Snow Speeder Microfire. And I think also in the last Advent calendar, so and then is another oh, whoops, resistance trooper. Sorry. The resistance trooper. Which is just also just the same as in some of the Force Awakens sets. Not much of anything special. But yeah. But the first appearance of Admiral. I'm at. See with the Loki hairpiece kind of thing, but in white compared to black. But it has some good face printing. And there he is from the back. But no double sided face. And then you get a new version of Poe Dameron. Is the printing and everything just about the same as in the First Order Heavy Assault Locker set, but with the new hair piece, which has this like calm in it, molded into it. Which also, in the like uh, one of the microfire sets, of which is good. So, if you are looking to get not bother with the microfires, then this is a good way to get in here in this set. Onto it, so one of the oh, whoops, one of the main side builds of this set, which is this little outpost set, of which can actually split into two like that. So first, you get this little tower, some so like some good use of the like uh, curvy macaroni pieces. That go way far up with the like windshield piece in opaque gray. Then turn to the back. You can see how the like red base plate pieces or tile pieces, which of course is what is quite accurate to the film if you've seen it. And there's a couple of the missiles and a wrench and all, and a couple of guns to like store for your troopers. And then up here, there's which a little control panel and a like little scoping screen piece, which of course is printed. And also some good, but some good snot techniques all around. And then the top part of it is where you can, of course, stand a trooper on to it. And then you also get this little uh, sentry turret, 
where the tarps actually kind of swivels in and out and turns all around. You got a couple of some sloping pieces, but the like markings are actually stickers, kind of unfortunate. But also get a little stud shooter right here. And nice one nice thing that they don't really do normally do is uh, include the extra studs on the side. And as you see, there's a few uh, jumper tiles to like stand me things on and stuff. But, but as with this turn, which has some like, which of course has the like, uh, like domey pieces, but also some, some good techniques all around, and also a couple open spots, but with that are just tiles in them. Like this brown one to like set a minifigure in, and then and another open one, but for the spring loaded launch. And if you can kind of make it out that there's a little clip in there, which kind of clips to this little one on this one, so they can come together. Like so. And now to the main part of the set, which everyone's going to be buying it for, is this like skis beer or whatever. So the design of this, kind of similar to an old fashioned B Wing, but not folding out and everything. But let's start with this one side, which has, of course, this little technique of like a couple pistols and binocular pieces, probably to be like some extra greebling details. And then further up, there's those one of those like sunk pieces from Ray Speeder a couple years ago. And it's a, it's a nice sloping with has some stickers on it. Since there's a few stickers in this set. And further. And so all kinds of like greepling details. That's all over. And then on this one, there's some like red and gray and all. And as you see, there's some, I don't know if you can make it out that, there's some like Technic beams hidden in the set. But these slopey pieces actually, actually kind of blend in with it, of which is good to make it not stand out. And then this middle part which is kind of interesting, a lot of those like grid pieces, and then also the like, Bonacle Bracky eye pieces. And then one neat thing is if you see that printed piece above, you can like push on that and then whoops, that thing, and it comes right off. And don't know what you can do with it. And there's at least some hollow space in there. Or don't know what for. So kind of like one of the X Wing sets of last year, a couple years ago. Then you know, just the same exact stuff on this side. Then, but except on this side is the actual uh, cockpit part. So like with the like uh, speed champion and it's a cockpit piece, put to some good use there. And then if I redo that, you can see there's a couple of control panel sticker and the Ninjago bucket piece mold. And also just enough space to, to of course fit your Poe Dameron me figure in like so. You can like fit that cockpit right over. There we go. And then on the back of it is a little wheel piece to be like another jet engine or something. But some good it's not all around, you know. Here's from the bottom. Here's some dark tan, kind of like that, like there was on the top. But as from the back, there's and as you see, this little blade-like thing that sticks out, just as probably as a, like a little balancing thing, which if you see in the movie, then you know. And then. 
to my, of course, there's those like wiring kind of pieces. And then on the back are a couple of the little fin pieces to serve as the back wings, which also have stickers on them, kind of, kind of unfortunate. But other than that, pretty good representation of it. And now, let me get stuck together and move on to the final part. So now on to the final verdict is that this I think pretty good set. Yeah, pretty good set. Like finally get the like ski speeder set, which people have kind of wanted for a little while. Oh, and like why the skis? Why not the ski speeder by itself? But probably wanted to like throw this little side build in just to like give some extra play value or whatever but you know it is what it is and if you're looking to pick up this set then go ahead and get it and that's about it with this video please like comment and subscribe and thanks for watching